mDaemon can be configured to archive all inbound and outbound mail to specific email addresses or designated folders. The archiving settings can be found under the Server Settings screen as shown here. You can archive mail to a designated folder or to designated email addresses. Check the boxes shown here if you'd like to archive inbound and outbound mail to designated folders. By default, messages are archived to the C mDaemon archives directory, but you can use the Browse button if you'd like to archive to a different location. Message archives can be further sorted based on the recipient, the sender, or by mDaemon domain into a logically structured IMAP store. Use the whitelist button to exempt specific senders and recipients from having their messages archived. To access the archive, create an email account and then point its mail folder to the archives directory. For example, let's navigate to the accounts menu and then click on new account. In this example, I'm going to create an account called archive. Enter and then confirm a password for this account. And then click apply and OK to create the account. Now let's point this account to our archive. Click on mail folder and groups in the left hand navigation menu. Then use the browse button to browse to the archive folder. Click apply and OK to save your changes. Authorized users who have the login credentials for the archive account can now access the archive via World Client or another email client. As the administrator, you can also share the archive account's inbox with other users. We'll first need to click on OK to create the account before we'll have access to the shared folders menu. Now let's go back into the account editor and share our archive. To share the archive folders, click on Shared Folders in the left-hand navigation menu. Currently, only the inbox folder exists because we haven't yet archived any messages. Once messages are archived, and if you've configured the archive settings to archive based on the sender or recipient address, you'll see other subfolders here. So you can grant users access to the entire archive folder, which is not recommended, or grant users access to their own archive subfolders. To grant access to a folder, click on it, and then click on Edit Access Control List. Click on the Edit button to change the folder permissions. Click on Add to add access for a designated user. You can specify search criteria in the blanks provided, or simply click the Find Now button to pull up all accounts. Double-click on the user for whom you will be granting folder permissions. Next, check the box for each level of access that you wish to grant this user. If you're not sure what one of these items means, you can hover your mouse over it for more information. Then click Apply and OK. In addition to archiving to designated folders, you can also archive mail to a designated email address. To send an archive copy of all inbound and outbound messages to a specific email address, check the box indicated here. Then enter the email address to which you would like archive copies to be sent in the blank provided. You can specify multiple email addresses by separating them with commas. You can enter local and remote addresses as well as address aliases. You can optionally archive local mailing list messages and messages collected via multipop. You can also insert archive copy into the subject of all archived messages. This makes it easier to find archived messages in your mDaemon logs and folders and provides an easy way to manipulate archived messages based on the message subject using the content filter. You can optionally archive messages marked as spam or messages that have been forwarded. By default, forwarded messages are not archived. Be sure to click on Apply and OK to save your changes.